Many people believe that Alison Holker, Twitch's wife, knows more than she tells others. But just what is it? Is it something that Twitch and her had in common prior to his death, or was she aware of the actual events? Or is it possible that she was already aware that he was going to commit suicide? If that's the case, then why did she do nothing? I for one am unable to pinpoint anything at this time. Additionally, we will need to travel together in order to discover what she actually knows. But before we get into the mystery, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Then, let's see who gets the closest guests to find out what Allison is really hiding. Fans of Twitch and Allison thought they were the perfect couple. They are also both extremely active on the social media platforms of their rivals. Additionally, their love story appears to be straight out of a movie. They met for the first time on the So You Think You Can Dance stage, and now fast forward a few years. In 2013, while the two of them were filming a commercial together, Switch made a proposal to Allison. Twitch and Allison had celebrated their nine-year wedding anniversary in December 2022, prior to the entire incident. Allison went one step further and shared a video of the pictures taken on their wedding day, while Twitch posted pictures of their wedding. On the other hand, skip ahead a few days. A motel just one mile from their home was where Twitch's body was discovered shot to death. Given that they frequently shared dancing videos together, it appeared that the couple was also in good terms. They appeared to be the same couple who had met more than a decade earlier on the stage of the dance reality show that would have a lasting impact on their lives. Due to the fact that they had just celebrated their wedding anniversary a few days prior to Twitch's permanent departure, the news seems to have particularly devastated Allison. When she lost her best friend, it appeared as though everything had completely changed. The same can be inferred from the posts she made to her Instagram account to inform her followers of her extreme pain. People began developing their own theories shortly after the death of Twitch was reported. In addition, a lot of fans have gone so far as to closely monitor Allison's actions. Even though a lot of people have come to sympathize with her and their children, a lot of people have also asked and wondered why Allison didn't call the police when she noticed that Twitch didn't take his car that day. Both sides are represented in media reports. This tragic incident has become a murder mystery thanks to everyone's theories. However, according to Allison Holker's statements to the police and the New York Post conversations with LAPD officials, a different story emerges that supports Allison and her difficulties. The night before he committed suicide, Stephen Twitch Boss, a 40-year-old DJ, choreographer, influencer, and dancer, had unannouncedly left their home in Los Angeles. In addition, he was inaccessible in the hours leading up to his alleged suicide. Regarding Allison's statements, they did not fight or argue, which is why Twitch's behavior concerned her the most. There were no plausible justifications for Twitch's nighttime departure from their home, especially given that he was alone for the night with his wife and two young daughters. Because Twitch was not this person, Allison was undoubtedly taken aback by this behavior. It made no sense for him to leave them all alone at the house because he was so protective of them. She told the police about her concern for his well-being and made it a point to emphasize immediately how out of Twitch's norm this behavior was. As soon as Hulker passed away, this statement could be easily verified. According to reports, Hulker had reportedly hurriedly entered an LAPD station and yelled, had her husband left without his car, and for him to do that was completely out of character. This is correct, because the authorities also reported the same thing. According to reports, Twitch took a taxi to the motel after leaving his house at night without a vehicle. It has come to light that Allison actually did not wait for something bad to happen to her loving husband. Instead, she went to the police as soon as she learned that he had left the house without telling anyone. Due to the fact that the LAPD received a call shortly after Holker's interaction with them, regarding a shooting at a Los Angeles hotel, 
in which they discovered her husband twitched dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In the end, our thoughts and prayers are with Twitch's entire family, regardless of what might have happened that day in that motel room.